Hi there beautiful Thrivers, welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today I'm going to be working on the third envelope for my daughter's Chainsaw Man binder, which is her first binder and she's a teenager. So thank you guys for being here, click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Happy Monday. Before we do get started full swing into this video, I wanna go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is I think we've answered this. Do you believe in aliens? I mean, I guess it's okay to repeat some because, you know, I've been doing this for about a year and I've had a lot of new subscribers come on. So maybe you guys want to put your input in on some questions that were asked in previous videos that you haven't seen. So do you believe in aliens? My answer is I think it's quite selfish to believe that we are the only living beings in the entire world, universe, universes, and beyond the, what we can see. I think it's a little egotistical to think that we're the only ones. But, I don't know. Maybe. What do you guys think? Do you believe in aliens? Let me know in the comments below. All right, as I said in the intro, we are going to be doing another envelope for my daughter. She is 16 years old, and um, I've already finished my other daughter's binder. She did an Attack on Titan uh, theme, so we finished hers up. She's 18, so she's ready to go for this world of budgeting, and now I'm doing my 16-year-old daughter, um, getting her ready for hers as well. So she chose the Chainsaw Man theme. I believe that's what this says in Japanese, Chainsaw Man. And it does have some cute little thing that's in the, in the anime, I guess. And she is steadily getting her images to me. We are starting with, we've had college and then we've had car needs. So we've had these two things. I do need to make tabs for car needs, but I think I'll do all tabs towards the end. Um, but the cool thing about hers is it's going to both be horizontal and vertical, which I think is very cool. So we're going to be working on her next envelope, which is moving out. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to think about this possibility, this uh, reality, that one day my babies are going to move out, but they will, and it's going to make me sad. But anyway, let's just move on from that. Let's look at the image she's giving me. It's a door with a little eyeball, um, and we did moving out the, down this way. I thought that was kind of cool because Japanese characters are like that. Um... Then I do have the tracing paper I'm going to use. This is just a thick vellum. I also use this to make my tabs inside of envelopes as well, but it's just a thick vellum and I can use it as tracing paper, as you can see. So I'll tape the image down here and then just draw this out. And I use Sharpie markers to trace over everything. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Also, by the way, I use cardstock backing. I got this off of Amazon. It's a silver metallic um, cardstock, and I've already cut it down to match the size of my envelope right here. So back to the image. This one is going to be a little hard. Look at this. Do you guys see the detail? Let's see if I can get it to focus. like a lot of detail. So I'm going to try my hardest to replicate this as much as humanly possible. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out. 
I saved this one for last of the three that she gave me because I knew this one was going to be a lot of work. So um, here we are. This is what we're doing. <laughs> I think I am going to cut off the top here because um, I need I need area to tape. So it's better to not have like all this excess. And then I can center it to where I want it and tape it down the way I need to. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope you guys enjoy. You basically know how it's going to be done. You'll see me do it. Um, the rest of this is going to be time lapse. At the end, we'll come back, we'll take a closer look, and then I will let my daughter come and check it out and put it in her binder. So I hope you guys enjoy this part. I will add some music to make it a little bit more entertaining, but I'll see you at the end. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. So I did change some things up because the lines were just so small. I tried to do lines here, as you can see, and it's just, I think it just wouldn't have looked good on the door. So I opted for dots and I think that it captured the shading shadow, um, in a good way. So hopefully, hopefully it looks good enough for her. So, um, this is it. It looks so good. I absolutely love vertical envelopes. Like, I just, I don't know. The next time I change up everything, I think I'm going to go with vertical because that's so fun. Anyway, I will go and grab my daughter, let her check this out, and put it in her binder. What did I give you? <laughs> you don't even remember? I don't remember. <laughs> well, then it'll be a surprise. Yeah, I guess so. Here it is. 
Oh, yeah. I did do that. <laughs> yeah. I like it. You like that? Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do, like, the lines because looking at the image, the lines are so, so small. Yeah. That it would just have made it black. So if using, because I tried it here and you see how thicker those are. So I was like, I'm going to go with dots. I still like it, though. Yeah. So I went with dots. You like it? Yes, I do. All right. You know what to do. Let's do that again. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll put it in the floor. Okay. Uh, it looks so good. Yeah. I really like the vertical. Me too. All right, third envelope down. We got just a little bit more. Well, not a little bit. We've got like more. 10 more to go or something. So you like it? Yes, I do. We're getting it. Yeah. I love you, baby. And we've got the approval. Man, it looks so good. It looks good when it's in here too with the black on the black. It's basically like reading a manga. Manga? Manga? There's some discrepancy about that. Nobody can tell me exactly which way is it. Is it manga or manga? I don't know. Anyway, so we have our car needs, we have her college, and we have moving out. So, it looks so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this. With that being said, the next video will be dropped on Wednesday for our WTF Wednesday. Of course, we've got some finances to track, so I hope you guys join me then. Chances are, unless I come up with another video idea, I will be doing another envelope for her on Friday um, because I don't have any cash stuffings going on. So I love posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It gives me things to do throughout my week being a stay-at-home mom. So I enjoy doing three videos a week, but when I don't have a cash stuffing for Friday, then I will fill in with just getting her envelopes done. So I hope you guys look forward to that. We will do another envelope on Friday for her and then maybe another one on Monday, just depending. So I might be able to accomplish three envelopes this month for her, which is good because I really need to get that done so she can start using it and saving her money. So I hope you guys just come along the ride with me. It's usually the very beginning of the month where I have the most time to devote to making these envelopes for her. And so you'll see a lot of DIYs in the beginning of the month and then none at the end of the month. So I know it's probably not one of the most watched videos, but for me, I, I'm going to get it done. So I will see you guys in Wednesday's video for our WTF Wednesday. And I hope you guys have a good day today and tomorrow. And I'll see you on Wednesday as always until next time. Bye.